My days are cooler Nights are warmer And I put the blame on you Time moves slow But my heart beats faster With these eyes are looking right at you Right at you You give me something to believe in Just what I need in Black, and I hate to say this, I said it once, I'm going to say it again, Black women are in the best position to speak for everybody because we sit on the bottom of the pyramid. Everybody above us has to do explain, well. Explain this pyramid. Well, so if explain you look at pyramid. the white supremacy pyramid, you got white men at the very top, white women underneath them. Then you underneath them, you have all of the sort of non-white, Asian, Hispanic. Then underneath them, you have Black men. And then underneath them, at the largest part of the pyramid, you have Black women. And I'm not talking numbers. I'm talking about where you sit in the pecking order. And from that perspective, if you have the person at the very top, their, their, their perspective is extremely narrow. They can't see beyond that perspective of that tiny little triangle at the top. But the people at the bottom see every layer above them. They have the perspective inclusive of everybody. So if you flip that pyramid over and it's now an upside down triangle, the group at the top has the vision and the perspective to include all layers beneath them. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about inverting that triangle, right? So that all policy and thinking starts from the most inclusive perspective, not the most exclusive perspective. And that's kind of where we are. The majority of decisions in America are made by the people with the most exclusive perspective, not the people with the most inclusive perspective. And that's what needs to change. So that's why I'm saying we don't need to re replicate Project 2025, but we need to replicate the methodology, the process of bringing together these groups, these organizations, and saying, okay, if we really want to talk about sea change in public education, then what do what does that look like? What does public education scrap all of the public the interest groups that I love teachers and I like teachers unions, but let's put them aside for the moment. Let's put aside the interests of public charter schools and private charter schools, and let's just ask from ground zero for the from now to the future what kind of public education system do we really need and want for our kids obviously we want a system that has professionalism baked into it we don't want massive homeschooling why because people homeschool their kids into idiocy <laughs> and we yes. rely on public education as the basis with which we socialize our, each other to live with each other. It yes. is a necessity in a country as diverse as this one. That's right. We That's obviously right. want some STEM knowledge, some tech knowledge, but we also want more parental flexibility. If we don't want to work from the office all the damn time, probably our kids don't want to go to school all the damn time. Maybe there's some flexibility, some things that we can build in where they're not in academic every single day. They're in academic someday, and then some days they're just in homework and practice, and then some days they're in culinary and household and community and civics, and someday they're in sports and physical, and maybe that that combination will really yes. prepare them and teach them all the things they need or all the skill sets, including interpersonal communication, right? So that we bring down the conflict and the interpersonal fighting. Now, maybe we're giving them a whole nother skill set, but we gotta we gotta trash the idea that the only thing we can do is nibble around the edges of our institutional thinking. That's right. Right? That is but right. the only way you defeat institution is by infiltration. <sighs> And so what you were talking about with Mayor Reed is so important because he infiltrated that power. For yes. And how he did it was through community. So there was the Morehouse community. community. There was his daddy, though, who was also his daddy involved. Was there. So, OK, so his father. But he didn't take the money and run. 
He took no. the education and the opportunity and That's said, you know right. what, I'm going to go try to, and he didn't start out running for Congress or running for, he said, let me start at the probate judge. Because well, say, I, I, I only want to be president. I don't want to do all, because his understanding of being a lobbyist led him to probate, the, the pro, probate judgeship that then exactly. led him to this, you know, so he has a, a, a knowledge of this in addition to his father, because you can't learn through osmosis. Some, you gotta, some you things have to be... Right. Yes. So when we talk about infiltration, we got to be talking about infiltrating, infiltrating the power structures. We have a whole lot of black female teachers, very few black female executives of teacher unions. We have a whole Girl. lot of black female. We have a whole lot of female nurses. Far Women. fewer nurses that are heads of nursing unions and females that are heads of hospitals. Right. Because we are sometimes way too happy to be there without really thinking about power structure and how to infiltrate power for structure. So that's what I've talked about. You talk about, I talked about this before with you once before, how did we get Judge Aileen Cannon on the bench? How did Aileen Cannon get on the bench? Because there used to be this orthodoxy that you cannot be a federal judge unless you're ABA certified as qualified as a judge. How did we get through that? Well, the Republicans elected a bunch of people who said they were going to reject ABA recommendations because it was giving them judges that were not willing to bend law into pretzels for them. So they were like, okay, let's groom young lawyers to be the kind of judges we want. So that's why they had Federalist Society and Heritage Foundation on all these law school campuses. That's right. In and a Aileen Mercedes Cannon, born in Columbia, immigrant, yep. by the she's way. Immigrant. immigrant, by the but way. She's so married to a true Trumper. Okay, but that's the point I'm making, too. They're playing in our faces about this whole, these people, when it's, it's not these people. That's a, that's a red herring. Let's stop, you know, kept, you know eating the bait. Um, but she now has presided over the Donald J. Trump versus United States of America case. She was the presiding judge in that, right? 2020, she's 2022. Still, oh, yeah, she's still she's still presiding over the documents case in Florida. She's the one that is doing oh everything in her power to scuttle that case. I, I'm trying to tell people that the reason we don't prevail is because we don't understand the idea of infiltration, right? We have a huge chunk of the D Triple C, the DNC. And a big chunk of that is ours. And yet we don't leverage it nearly well enough because we're happy to be there and we play to get along. The Tea Party did not play to get along with the other Republicans. They played right. to push out the other Republicans. And, and they did that. And, and they, they didn't give a damn. Lauren Boebert, who can't spell, barely got out of high school. Marjorie Taylor and Greene. she's going to get reelected her... because. Yes, she's changed part... districts. Yeah, she changed districts. She's going to get reelected, um, you know, because Trump came in to support her and he owned the base. And like there are a lot of things that happen to make things the way they are. But I want people to understand that. There are flex points where you cannot cede your power. And that's my that's why I have to talk shit about Mark Lamont Hill and them, because they did not understand that we were at a flex point where we could not afford to cede the power we had. And we did because we didn't trust Hillary. We didn't like Hillary, blah, blah, blah. And they didn't understand that Hillary, for whatever she is, all her pro warts and problems and issues and warmongering, whatever, she was still going to preserve the structure in which we could infiltrate rather than trash it all together, which is what we allowed happen when we brought Trump into this power. Whew. All right, we need to sit for a second. Says that she loves me. Isn't it lovely when the one who loves things 